This is Matt Gizmo Guy here, and I'm recording a video segment here with a Unibrain FireEye FireWire web camera. And it's an interesting little camera since Apple discontinued its EyeSight FireWire based camera. There really aren't a lot of alternatives on the market. You can use many DV camcorders that have FireWire inputs as one possible way of having a FireWire based webcam. Um, although that can be problematic because many digital camcorders want to shut off if you're not actively recording to tape and you may find every five or ten minutes the thing wants to go to sleep on you. Um, so here's a standalone FireWire web camera. One of the good reasons for wanting a FireWire webcam is uh, it tends to have much less CPU utilization so it doesn't stress your computer quite as much as USB does. This particular camera is 640 by 480, um, which is what most video chat programs, it's the maximum resolution, things like Skype and many others can even chat at. In fact, a lot of programs actually do video only at 320 by 240. So don't be fooled by some of these one, two, three megapixel webcams. Most chat applications can't take advantage of it. This camera is doing pretty good here in reasonable lighting. In lower light it does have a tendency to be somewhat grainy and it has a manual focus lens. I'm going to try to adjust it very carefully but I found it doesn't take much of an adjustment either way to soften and blur out this image. So you know you barely turn it just a couple of degrees is the difference between getting a pretty good sharp image and getting one that's blurry. I would recommend that this FireEye camera that you find a good tripod and you have a very still and stable mount. When I've mounted it on top of like my laptop computer, if I bump or move my webcam, then the image will jiggle up and down and get a little blurry, or if I touch and move the lid, then it, I have to futz with the focus. So in general, I tend to prefer either autofocus webcams or fixed focus webcams. I've found that manual focus webcams can be pretty finicky and you move or you sit back in your chair and then suddenly the focus isn't so good. Anyway, I will cut over and then show you the actual physical features. Well, here's this Unibrain FireEye webcam. It's fairly compact. It's about two and a half inches square and about an inch thick. And it's in a translucent case which um, is kind of reflected. This camera um, has had different casings, a solid color one, but they really haven't changed this camera much since it was invented about f five years ago. So it has been around a long time, hasn't changed much. Um, it's a 640 by 480 webcam. It does have a little LED sensor at the top to indicate when the camera is recording. It has an adjustable focus lens here, and it's kind of nice. There are little notches and ribs in the lens so that when you grab it you get a fairly when you grab it you can grab it and adjust it reasonably precisely. It's interesting it has a firewire port on this side and it also has a firewire port on this side. It has a DC power plug but for I think a lot of people it really wouldn't need that. Um, so it can like many firewire devices it can be daisy change and you can hook up to 62, 63 devices in it. I think one of the challenges though with this webcam is that most FireWire cables are rather heavy and the camera mounts on the side of this and see how just the weight of the cable kind of tilts the camera. Well on the back of the cam we have a plastic clip. It's a pretty nice one. It's really big. It's got a good strong spring to it and it also has uh, kind of a foam rubber gripper so when it does grab onto something it hangs on fairly well. The problem with it is, is even if that clip is stably mounted, the weight of the cable always wants to sort of tilt the camera. So you almost have to support the cable well. Let's say you clip this to the top of your laptop screen. You have to support the cable well, otherwise the camera tips and tilts off to the side um, and that. It is a fairly good web camera, good color balance, good light sensitivity. It is a little bit grainy in low light. It does not have a built-in microphone. But again, one of the advantages is compatibility on any modern Mac running 10.3 or later. FireWire webcams don't need any drivers. 
just about every single program can instantly and immediately recognize a firewire or DV input source like this from iMovie to Final Cut to uh, iChat to ISPQ. Just about everything um, recognizes that really well. It can be a little tougher with UVC webcam. Some programs don't recognize it nearly so automatically and easily. So, a little pricey. These cameras are about 100 to 110 bucks a piece. One nice thing about FireWire is this driverless compatibility with every video kind of application out there. Um, low CPU overhead and utilization since FireWire is so much more efficient than USB. And in particular, sometimes when you have a lot of USB devices, it can interfere. Uh, you know, if you have like a TV tuner and a set of USB speakers and a USB webcam and a printer and a hard drive all slugging it out, that can put quite a load and they can contend and fight with other devices. So there may be reasons to want to take your video to get, like I'm getting here, really good frame rate, smooth video without blurring, without dropping frames. There can be good reasons to want to use a FireWire webcam if you can't afford a uh, used Apple EyeSight or find one a good deal on one, you can buy one of these new for around $100 and it may be a good webcam alternative for you. Alright, that's it for today.